And we're back with Let's Play Mass Effect, where we left off. We had just defeated the Thorian, and we were heading back to Normandy. And we leveled up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the put a point into... Um, let's go ahead and put a couple points into Assault Training. Put one for Liara into Singularity. Put one for Tali into Damping. And we're done. Alright, let's keep moving. We've got a galaxy to save. <laughs> Decontamination in progress. <laughs> Decontamination in progress. Zoop. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the... I'm... I was just brain probed, man! No, I'm fine. I feel strange. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. That sounds like a proposition. Oh well. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. That always kind of freaks me out a little. When their eyes turn black like that. It's just kind of creepy. It's like demon. <laughs> Madness. Madness! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I you never imagined the experience You're doing would be the so... Shatner. Intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Yeah, Come on, I'm just that up. badass. What did you see? <laughs> the beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Prothean... Okay, I think it is obvious that. there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. Dr. I Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. We're done here. Just... Okay. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? <laughs> no. Yes, patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. It's better this way. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. <laughs> Not any lengths. Disconnect. <laughs> Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for I hate next that report. Turian counselor. He's a jackass. Complete and utter jackass. Anyway... We now have very... We're nearing the full Paragon. It's getting closer and closer. Let's go down here. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Loading. Maybe. Plus one medi gel. <laughs> ah, my nose. <laughs> Let's 
Commander, are you coming to check up? You look on much me? better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari well, physiology. She is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Mm, no, not know. really. Goodbye, Commander. I'm not a big fan of Liara, actually. I mean, she's okay, but her character arc is just weird. Hell has to load. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? <laughs> just speak it. Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. Why am I not surprised? This Saren is trading people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't Yeah, reading. I understand. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. <laughs> Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. No big deal. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Hmm. Sorry, all Dan is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. Uh -huh. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Yeehaw. Damn corporations. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. A little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. Mm -hmm. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. What is Jump Zero? Is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. <laughs> time to get physical, then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana, who had a little circle grow up around her. Oh, she boy. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Uh -huh. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But hmm. things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? Hmm. No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Hmm. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. <laughs> of course. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. That's eh, no problem. Elenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. <laughs> I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Yeah. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. Caden's all right. Well, for now. Okay. Mm 
let's see. What are we going to do now? Ah! Going the wrong way. Oh well. This is fine. Just talk to random people, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. It's a little boring for some of you, but oh well. I'll go this way. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. Hmm. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. Hmm. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm hmm. going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. There you go. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. Eh. Yeah. See, Garrus matures a lot over the course of the series. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. He really does mature a lot over the course of the series. Which reminds me, I need to, well... Let's see if I can... Oh, that's way better. Let's see. Don't think I have any armor for him. Okay, let's go back to Garrus here. Let's see. Yes, transfer installed upgrades. Round round six. Kinetic stabilizer five. Okay, transfer the upgrades. Let's see what more we got. Shredder rounds. And this is improved sighting. See what she's got on her. Let's equip that. So that is Exoskeleton 5. Okay. Excuse me. Equip that. She's good with pretty much everything, so. Soldiers tend to do that, you know. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Anybody else? Let's see. Rex. kicks and giggles. Okay. That should do it. Let's go sell this stuff. I'll tell you what. I'll, I will cut the video off now and I will sell the stuff and get back to you in the next video.